Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome to this week's card. I did a pretty clean and simple card this week. It's not going to take very long to show you. Um, I started by punching four squares using a one and a quarter inch punch. And then uh, I took my ink applicator and some broken china ink. And I um, just inked up three of the squares in blue and then one of the squares in spiced marmalade. And I'm not trying to get too dark with it, and I'm not trying to get too even with it, because I do want it to look a little bit cloudy. I don't want it to be completely uh, even coverage. Okay, and I'm using the Papillon Potpourri, I'm sorry, Potpourri Papillon, I think it is, uh, stamp set by Stampin' Up, and I'm using my Broken China, and I'm stamping off on a piece of paper so that I just kind of get a faded image there. So I'm using a tone on tone. This is another butterfly from the set, and I'm using some Versamark ink and some black embossing powder. I'm going to heat it to set it. And now I'm going to take that same color blue and my Aqua Painter. And I'm just going to color this butterfly in. I had some uh, some trouble with my aqua painter. One of them, there's two in a pack, and they're really old. I think I just need to get some new ones. But one had too much water, and one didn't have enough water. I like to color the center of the butterfly a lot darker because then it looks like the the wings are kind of coming out. It gives a little bit more perspective. So um, I try to do it pretty dark in the middle there. So I use the one that wasn't didn't have and uh, didn't have too much water in it because more water makes it just a lighter color. All right, and then um, I took my card base and I marked the center of each side, so it's two and an eighth, and then I placed them down where I wanted them, and then I started on the edges. So I'm going to do one on one edge, and then I turned it over, and I did the other edge. That way I can kind of center the two in the middle so that I have even spaces in between them. It's not an exact science, I just sort of eyeballed it um, and I rearranged it wherever I needed to. And I'm using my little handheld tape runner just because it, the pieces are so small. So once I got them the way I wanted them, I just pressed down hard to set them in there. And I erased my pencil marks. And then I'm going to do some freehand lines here. Um, if you're interested, I put some tips on my blog. Uh, there's a link in the description on YouTube if that's how you're watching this um, on some tips how to create some straight lines just freehand. Alright, next, next I'm going to stamp my sentiment and I'm using Versafine Black Ink which is a fantastic ink for clear stamps. You get a really crisp image. And then I'm going to punch out my butterfly with a matching punch called Elegant butterfly punch. And the great thing about this punch is that it uh, goes up right against the edge of the butterfly so you don't get a white edge around it. And then I just put a glue dot in the middle so that the wings can fly up and I'm putting some stickles on it to make it even more special. And that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.